like to think that we live in a safe area, and by and large, we all do. It's called Wiltshire, so will this have an effect? say, on people trying to move house. Uh, this is uh, in the studio now, Christian Slade from CB Slade uh, Estate Agency in Cricklade. He's in the studio. Hello, Christian. Good morning. How are you? I'm extremely well. Thank Good. you very much indeed for coming in. What do you make of these, these maps? Are they useful to you? Uh, I think, well, the fact that the website crashed as soon as it went live is uh, an indication that it is useful to people. They obviously want to see what's going on. Um, from our point of view, we would look at it from people moving and, and, and buying houses, selling houses. I heard you talking this morning, you had 600 crimes in your area. Are mm -hmm. you moving? No. No, OK. It's so the safest place I've ever lived. It's perfectly safe at any time of the day or night, and every single person I know who lives in the area will say the same thing. Exactly. So in, in terms of your personal experience, it won't have any impact. Mm. And I think that's true for most people. Will suddenly people put their houses on the market because they've seen that there's more crime in their area than they thought? Probably not. But if someone was moving to the area from London and they wanted to compare two like-for-like -like Wiltshire villages, one had a very high crime rate, one didn't, would they use that information? Potentially they might. Mm. I don't think it will be the be-all and end-all. People look at lots of different factors when they're moving house, but I think it will be one more little tick on the checklist for them to, to look at this website, which is why it's crucial, which is what you were talking about earlier, that we do understand what these figures mean, mm. how they're collated, um, so that we can have a bit more relevance with it, I suppose. Yeah, the, 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 the huge amount of, of interest that, that was in it, um, uh, again, lots of people have made this point that there's clearly a public appetite for it. However, people watch car crashes, that if you you know, if you, if you brought back a public execution, people would go uh, and see it. There is a, an appetite, there is a curiosity that exists. There are, people will go, people will watch programmes of, of terrible and awful things happening. People will watch films in which people are brutally uh, mutilated and beaten and raped and tortured. It's, we have an appetite for that. Is this anything more than just curiosity? Because potentially we're talking about something that could affect the price, say, of, of your house. Yeah, that's right. I mean, in terms of addressing the second bit first is will it have an effect on the on the price of your house that's obviously governed by supply and demand and if your house is in an area which is deemed to have a higher crime rate than you might expect and people therefore do decide to sell those houses we're going to increase supply if people don't want to buy there because of the fact it's got a higher crime rate then we're going to re reduce demand so the, the house prices could effectively be be impacted um that's potentially quite worrying, isn't it? I mean, if, if you lived... I mean, there are not... The, 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 around my house, and I'm sure this is the same for a lot of other people who've used the website, the top-level time figure, as displayed on the map, and the information that you get from the map, would suggest that there are, on average, 20 crimes a day going on in this area. There clearly are not. If I was trying to sell my house, and my house value started going down as a result of this, I would consider suing the police for misleading information that's of damaging property values, because... It's clearly not like that. The, when, when people may come to you and making a decision about an area, how, if they know the area, they can make their own mind up. But if they're coming into an area, they need to know more than this, don't they? Well, I think that's right. And it's not the be-all and end-all. I think we can get quite wrapped up in it. And mm. going back to what I said a minute ago, we're not going to see house prices suddenly come sliding down. If I was valuing something in Sanford Street this morning, which I think you said was Swindon's worst street... Yeah, but it's mostly a car park, isn't well, it? Well, exactly. <laughs> but I'm not going to suddenly start knocking prices mm. off because, because of that. It's, mm. it's to do with supply and demand, which will be a longer-term thing. And I think... I think it's naive to think that people who live in maybe uh, slightly higher crime rate areas don't know that they're living there. I think people generally understand that concept, but they're not living there because it's a higher crime rate. They're living there because it's close to work or it's more affordable. Um, not everyone can live in, in the best house that they want to. So I think buyers will use this. They're not going to buy or, or not buy a house purely on these statistics, but they're going to look at flood risk data, the, the, the local area. They... I would assume, I would hope, they won't just look at the website. I would hope that they would go down, stand, stand there, spend some time there, try and understand if it is higher than they expected. Why is it higher than they expected? Is it because you're next to pubs and you've got antisocial behaviour going on? Um, and I think there are lots more crimes these days because, mm. you know, people That's stood really around, point, five or six mm. kids stood around wearing hoodies can be actually committing a crime and mm. could could be given um you know fixed penalty notice by a police officer well there's five or six crimes straight away of your 20 so it, it is an extremely good point that isn't it so so when it comes to it comes to someone say, who's because let's face it the housing market needs all the help it can get um the there are a lot more i guess reasons why anyone is going to move 
to or from a, an area. Well, the good thing... the information that's top-line information that's contained on a website like Yeah, this. exactly. And I think from our point of view, the good news is that everybody's different and everybody's got a, t a, dif a different set of circumstances as to why they're moving. So to some people, the local school is the most important thing and everything else, it just doesn't matter. Other people want a really nicely done house. It doesn't matter where it is, they just want it you know, beautifully refurbished. Uh, to some people, crime might be the most important thing, and those people might be affected by, by this. So it's not the most important thing in the world, but it's there. It's a tool that buyers have got. If you want me to come and value your house later and let you know how much you've, you've lost on, on the news this morning, <laughs> then I will do. But I rent. <laughs> oh, you're okay. But in real terms, nobody needs to fear that their house price has gone down mm. overnight. It's, it, it would be a longer thing than that, and mm. I think areas differ in terms of the crimes uh, crime rate anyway and and p most people know that as you say if you're local you know where the crime hotspots are and yeah that, it's, it's a very good point christian thanks very much indeed that's okay i appreciate your insights into this the uh, very quickly um how is how would you how do you characterize the state of the, uh, of the market now uh, i think you know when you're looking at the, the the statistics of the property market most people are looking at national statistics locally we've been very busy since the new year we're we're all happy and smiles mm -hmm. um at cb slade so uh, yeah, hopefully that will continue. Well, a happy estate agent there, C.B. Slade's uh, in uh, Cricklade. Uh, thanks very much indeed. Christian thank Slade, thank you.